Welcome, welcome to Frostpunk, a game that was made by the developers of This War of Mine, uh, 11 bit studios, and they gave me this uh, this demo version of the game to take a look at. And maybe later down the line, uh, we'll take a look at the full game as well. It comes out on the 24th of uh, April, and uh, we're going to take a look at things and see how things go. Apparently, it is a city builder, it's incredibly bleak, and uh, well, let's put it this way the city must survive. In the summer of 1886, the snowstorms began. Crops failed, people starved, millions fled south, and they only met chaos, famine, and death. In the furthest reaches of the resource-rich north, the British Empire began constructing heat-bearing generators, where a chosen few could survive, safe from the chaos of crumbling civilization. They ran out of time. An apocalyptic ice storm came from the south, devouring all in its path. People fled in panic. Some managed to cross the seas and reach the site of a generator, only to find it frozen solid. The generator was designed to power a city capable to weather the end of the world. It falls on us to build it. The city, that is. But remember, the city must survive and that's exactly what we're going to try to do here so here's our uh we need to fight the cold we need to get the generator up and running for that we need coal and uh basically we are going to instantly pause the game uh we got our base resources at the top we've got coal we got wood we got steel we got raw food and food rations it's currently minus 20 and that's uh rather nippy i can tell you that i've been in situations like this before and we're going to need to build the city in the middle of this here glacier which is uh, interesting. We've got uh, one stockpile where we're basically stockpiling all of our resources. A bunch of um, <clears throat> random resources that are sitting around as well as these uh, deposits of resources like steel, iron, uh, wood, and whatnot. We're going to go and try to see if we can survive. Now, this demo is only 10 days. The final game will be a lot more expansive than that. And Let's see what or not we can do. One of the major things here of this game is, is that there is these book of laws that we can do and basically rules and regulations within the cities that will allow us to unlock new buildings new abilities and that sort of thing so we're going to go and take a look at that later so let's take a look at our population we currently have got 80 people 15 normal workers uh 15 engineers engineers are workers for tech buildings health buildings that sort of thing and 15 children the city must survive the children will have to work so um first of all we're going to need to uh, get some wooden crates, so let's max out the amount of work as we got on those, as well as coal, and we're going to go and get the steel wreckage as well. Uh, we got 20 units of raw food, which is rather unfortunate. We still have five additional workers we can have on something else. Uh, we need more coal anyway, so let's go and max that out. And let's uh, unpause the game and then take it from there. As soon as we have coal, we're going to need to turn on the generator, uh, which we currently cannot do, sadly, because obviously we don't have any coal. But there are workers, our people. They are cold as hell, and they're going to go and uh, try to get resources out. But there's quite a lot of tutorial stuff here going on in the demo, which is really cool. But look at the, the design of this here generator. That is beautiful. Now, this is very steampunky, it's like proper steampunky, and I'm not talking, hey, it's top hat, let's glue some cocks to it. No, I'm talking actual working mechanics, and that is really good. Uh, we have a little bit of coal uh, we got from uh, the mining, so let's turn on our generator. The generator is down. There it is, the generator is now online. <clears throat> and uh, we currently don't have any houses. So you can see at the bottom of the screen, there's this little indicator saying that 80 people are homeless. Now, we got the option of building tents or bunkhouses. Now, bunkhouses are significantly more expensive than tents, and we won't be able to fit everybody into uh, all these houses very quickly. Oh, the generator's down. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, let's start building some bunkhouses then, or at least maybe some tents as well, because we need to get the engineers to start working on our buildings. Look, it's, it's the children! Going to play! Oh, that's so, so, so delightful. Come on, generator. Give me love. Now we need, I think, 180 coal per every 24 hours. 
which is obviously is a is a problem. Uh, we got nine hours of coal remaining at the moment, so um, yeah. Well, the work shifts are set for ten hours every single day, where people will work, and eventually we'll be able to unlock a law that can force it to sixteen hours or even twenty-four hour work hours of overtime. So let's get another bunkhouse going. And yes, I know that that's probably not a good idea to uh, start building bunkhouses because they are relatively expensive, but. Uh, allowing us to actually let's let's remove a couple of these guys from the uh, from the coal pile here i know that we need coal anyway but uh we also need steel in order to get uh, more resources going if we can find some steel there's 15 guys working over here or at least 15 people working over here let's get you guys over there uh we could apply some engineers maybe and that means that we have a bunch more remaining but we want to make sure that we have enough engineers to uh, continue working on building houses and stuff like that. Because we need to survive. The city must survive. And that is... Uh, okay, we got six more remaining engineer-wise. Like, visually, this game is staggeringly beautiful. Um, like I said, it's very bleak. The music implies as such. Um, it's very sad. People will die. Children will have to work. But the city must survive with 20 hours of coal remaining that's good we should be able to get to at least 24 hours of coal by the end of the cycle and then we're going to start uh, building more stuff we need to get these houses going as soon as possible right now we got 50 people that are homeless uh, that's not good let's uh, fast things forward a little bit uh, we've got one steam core we're going to be able to use that for more important buildings like uh, the mines and uh, later on drills to get into the ice walls and whatnot but uh yeah let's see whether or not the city survives okay so we are at the end of the shift <clears throat> and right now this is the radius of where stuff is warm so let's build another bunkhouse if we can we don't have enough wood that's unfortunate so let's build a tent instead then. If we can build another one? No, we can't. That's unfortunate. So let's put things in overdrive overnight. People will get sick. People will get uh, frostbitten and whatnot. But we're sending them to their beds now. With the tents, are not going to keep people warm. And at the bottom, we got this uh, bar for discontent and hope. If discontent maxes out, it's the end of the game. If hope goes to zero, then it's also the end of the game. So... First day has the day has finished. Did we have any sick people? It doesn't appear to be. Uh, all of our workers are down here. Uh, workplace is chilly. Rest place is livable. Overall, uh, not, not bad first day. All right. Off towards the mines you go. Let's see if we can build another bunkhouse, and we can. <clears throat> We need two more bunkhouses after this in order to fill up our entire population. The steel wreckage has been depleted. That is unfortunate. We'll just add some more workers to the steel wreckage over here. And maybe to this wood. Seven available. There we go. Let's add another bunkhouse. And one more. Okay, cool. So that's at least uh, our entire population sorted out. Next up, we're going to need to ensure that we have food. So let's go and uh, take a look here. So a cookhouse needs to be within the range of the generator. And the cookhouse basically generates our food. We can make the children work in there if necessary. I find that um, one hunter's hut is definitely not enough to um, sate the needs of our population. So that is a thing. Okay, so... Let's have the children work in the food. Oh, okay, still can't. So, we can build a fighting arena if we really want to. Uh, child, we can build child shelters or child labor safe jobs. We are going to make them work. So, we're going to make the children work inside of the cookhouse. <sighs> okay. That's sad. We work all day and now the, the children have to work too. Children have to learn, not 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 work. Well, it's uh, they'll learn by working. Let's put it that way. But discontent is is very low at the moment. Hope is a little bit 
fading. But this is 1877, remember? We need to make sure that people uh, survive. Uh, we got some sick stuff in here. We got two people staying home because they're hungry and sick. That is unfortunate. Uh, let's take a look at our... Let's get some soup. Oh, we need to wait four hours for a new policy. So, why do we want to have soup? Well, soup basically allows us to get more out of our resources, which is going to be important. It's going to increase discontent because people don't want to, you know, have soup, eat soup all the time. Uh, what are we low on? Wood? Okay, let's make you guys work on the wood pile. Okay, so we need a hunter's hut. Now, the hunter's hut uh, does not require it to be outside, uh, inside of the radius of the of the boiler. So what we're going to do is we are going to build you in a nice spot here. Well, we don't want to put it here because we want to put our uh, one of our other buildings there. So we need to connect all these buildings to uh, the streets. At least all the streets in the game need to be connected to the boiler or else they won't be able to function. Think of it like um, uh, infrastructure and whatnot. Okay, a little bit more wood and then I can... Uh, with basic resources secured, we can now try to rescue those that were left behind. Build a beacon, scout the frostlands, and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You will need a workshop. So we need to build a workshop, but first we need to build another hunter's hut. And uh, we need to do that because um, I don't feel comfortable only having two work supplies. Currently, don't have any workers available. That's annoying. Um, let's remove a bunch of people from here. And then add some workers over there. <clears throat> we don't want to have them work on, away from the wood piles, if, po if completely possible. But uh, food is obviously more important than those resources. And our one of our coal piles has been uh, reduced to nothing. So let's max this out. Cool. All right. We need to build a medical post because sickness is a problem. We've got two people that are sick. So we're going to build a medical post. And uh, it needs, once again, it needs to be within the range of the generator. As our tech technology improves, we'll be able to build more advanced generator range. So we'll be able to allow, uh, basically get more resources stuff uh, and stuff around. We have... 10 children. Uh, very. What is this? In operate, unoperational. We don't have enough raw food. Yeah, well, no kidding. Okay, so we got medical posts. Let's get some people working in there. We need engineers for that. Okay, so this is being taken care of. We can just do it like this. So we'll have 18 people working on food production. And then we can take it from there. We got two people that are currently in treatment, but uh, we seem to be having a food-related issue. Um, discontent is slightly increasing and hope is in decreasing, so that is unfortunate. Let's get a workshop up and running. Now, the footprint for these buildings is a little bit bigger, and that may cause some problems with the layout of the city later on. Uh, considering this demo is only 10 days long, it doesn't really cause any problems with that, but still, it's something that we want to keep our eye on. Everybody's sleeping. Can I actually upgrade these tents? Uh, well, they're, they're comfortable. Building isolation, insulation, and heat zone. The bunkhouse seems to be okay as well. It's comfortable. What is this? Oh, and it's, get, it's getting colder. Okay, cool. Let's uh, get some soup. This is going to this increase discontent quite a lot and reducing hope. But we need to use as much soup as possible because food is low. <laughs> All my life it's been this thin gruel and promises. Just like in London. Uh oh, it's getting colder every day. That is unfortunate. Okay, so considering it's getting really cold now. We're going to need to put our generator into overdrive. Basically to make sure that our people can stay warm. And this generator needs some needs people to work on it. And we need to build a, a beacon. Yes, you are cold. You're frostbitten. Uh-oh. 
that's not good. Um, child injured at work placement. A child got injured at work. It was careless, yes, but that's how children are. Uh, you can have day off. That's fine. Oh god, people are getting sick because of the cold. Yeah, what do you want? Um, people usually look for the quickest solution, that the best one, you don't have to agree on everything they ask. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. But if you fail, you have to deal with the consequences. They probably want to get food soon. Yeah, freezing at work. Yeah. Increase the warmth at their workplaces. So what they're asking for is um, build... This gravely ill. <clears throat> Radical treatment. You'll try everything to cure the gravely ill down to invasive surgery, including amputation. Yes, cut off their legs. So this beacon technology is coming online just fine. Almost everybody is in treatment. Food is still an issue. How are we doing on... Um, okay, we got one engineer and a bunch of children left. That's unfortunate. Okay, so right now we are just digging through wooden crates. We got steel. We have coal. That is nice. We could potentially look at getting a resource depot. Oh no, the people are eating raw food. Well, that's not good. So let's leave this for now. <clears throat> but nobody's de nobody's died so far. After a recent accident, the mother refused to send her child to work. She's afraid she he also will get injured. Uh, no, he must go to work. The city must survive. Uh, okay, so considering we put the generator into overdrive, uh, if we leave it on overdrive for too long, it will explode, and that will be highly unfortunate. Okay, we've got workers available. Let's just have you work in the food processing plant. We've got five unemployed workers right now. We're going to need those workers soon anyway. The beacon has been lit. Let's go and build a beacon. Uh, we'll put it right next to the tech lab. And then build a road to connect all that stuff. Good. So the beacon will go online and we can use our five workers then to... Uh, uh -oh, we got a gravely ill person. Okay, so first of all, we have built the beacon. Which means that we need to start getting a scout. So let's quickly pause the game. We need 40 wood, which we do. And 5 workers, which we also do. So let's go and get a scout up and running. And the scout is basically going to uh, pop around and see if we can find anything. So we got the Lost Expedition. As well as a crash site. Several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. There probably are machines. Let's hope that... Uh, well, we need the machines first. So Let's go and uh, take a look. See what we can get there. Let's put stuff in the overdrive here. Good. Okay. End of day. Why are you not working in operative? Why? Not enough raw food for consumption. Uh, cookhouse will produce 13, 10 from 5 or 13 from 5. And that's a soup, right? Yeah. So let's have more children work here. Facing starvation, they shall be fed. Uh, we will take care of this food issue, hopefully. Let's hope that our uh, our scout will find some food over there. It's still minus 40. It's getting uncomfortably cold. But it's still low risk of getting sick, so I'm not too concerned. What we do want to watch out for is make sure that we don't run out of coal. Because if we run out of coal, it will be the end of the city. And the city must survive. Day, uh, we also need to add some research, actually, come to think of it. So let's uh, get boilers up and running. Because we want to make sure that our people are at least warm. Okay. Well, apparently we fulfill the condition. That's nice. That's good. But uh, apparently we need to feed the hungry. 
cool. Our scout is waiting. Let's take a look. Uh, that's where our expedition got dispersed when our vehicles crashed during the snowstorm. We found some of our precious supplies that were left behind. Um, searching for the wrecks of our expedition, we found a body of a young woman creating pitiful remains of a little boy. I told you it was bleak as hell! Why, uh, was he wounded or killed in the crash? Did she chose to stay with him? Or was she left behind in the chaos? We will never know. From a nearby hill, we can see a domed building in the distance. It may be an observatory. Uh, th 130 wood is actually really good. So let's just go back to the city because we need that food to feed our people and at least get some sort of stockpile going. Okay, so what are our options right now? Well, we got a bunch of ill people. Main okay, we got tw oh, 36 food rations. Nice. Captain, some... Some people worried about the injuries among the working children. Some demand to be given more food to make them stronger. Yeah, with our current... Yeah, fuck it. Let's give them more food. I'm sure this is going to be the end of our of the city, and the city must survive. The hungry were fed. Nice. Hope increase. Discontent lowers. Very nice. Cool. Let's add a boiler to this workplace because it is a little bit cold over here um boilers hunters hub a hut upgrade which means that they can get more food quicker which is exactly what we want let's take a look at our other options we don't have a lot of options in terms of tech at the moment it's currently day six we're about halfway through Let's hope that this food issue is going to resolve fairly soon. We got a lot of sick people. Poor medical care. A group of people are angry about the spreading sickness gathering here to demand. Okay, well, let's try to sort out this sickness issue then. Well, people are being healed, so we need to open up a new place of treatment. Well, where the hell am I going to do that? I, d I don't have... Uh, at least we got some more food. Let's go to this observatory. And then take it from there. Let's see if we can find anything. Notice how I'm still not going to go out and find more people out stranded out in the wastes. There's a good reason for that. Uh, basically, I don't feel our resources are good enough just yet. To take care of all that stuff. So, Can we demolish one of the bunkhouses maybe? Because we're going to need more bunkhouses anyway. So, let's just start building some more bunkhouses. And this is a tent. Can we destroy the tent, though? Like, how would we do that? Temperature overlay in operation. Okay, resume operation. This tent is turned off. Apparently, that's a thing. Um, can I not destroy tent? Like, how, do, how would I do that? Because I'm going to need to replace the tent with another building type because I need to build another hospital bunk new bunk houses up and running so let's turn off the tent how do I how do I destroy the tent can I just delete it tent is turned off let's take a look here uh construction my place is building uh-huh uh-huh Okay, can I not destroy tent? Hold on, let's take a look here. Tech. Oh, there we go. Demolish. So we're just destroying this tent. Um, I'm tempted to destroy more tents because they are kind of getting in the way. But that's sadly how it is right now. <clears throat> Especially if we're going to have more people soon engineer so we can get the sick up and running or at least help them out a little bit two sick absentees well, let's increase the heat in the boiler then okay this one is okay. let's uh, upgrade the building to level two cost us 50 wood but we should have that we are running out of steel Let's go and get the steel wreckage up and running then. 
We could have the children work there, but I'm not too keen on that. Okay, scouts have reached the observatory. The observatory is, in, uh, is a ruin. All instruments are smashed to pieces. There are some people inside. Oh. There are some people here. They saw the building from afar and came out, uh, came here for help, but found everybody dead. It seems the astronomers died from a toxin spoiled canned beef. Classic. They wrote in their diaries the, lo that the loss of sunlight can be explained solely by fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Oh, no. Uh, let's escort this, uh, the survivors to the city. So the survivors will arrive in, in about, 30, uh, about 20 hours. Well, we're feeding the population now, so that's good. Steel is a little bit low. We need to go and get ready for more people to arrive. We got a cripple. Oh, no. Some people may become crippled as a result from serious frostbite work, accidents, or a mother mishap. So well, that's unfortunate. Uh, what's this? First amputation. To save this man's life, we have to perform an amputation. We succeeded, but he cannot work. At least for now. Perhaps when we... You know, that's some of the book of rules. A care house. It will cause discontent. Uh, no, we're not gonna have... We're not gonna have a... A care house. Um... Alternative food resource. We must not let the bodies of the dead go to waste. I love it. Oh, that is so beautifully bleak. That is amazing. That is hilarious. I love it. All right, fighting arena. Apparently, we can we can make them fight. Signing will oblige you to build a fighting arena. Emergency shift. Screw it. Let's build a fighting arena. <laughs> Fighting arena, what do we need? Uh, this is beautiful. Uh, we need a little bit more steel, though. Uh, we got people going. Let's build a fighting arena. Let's make them fight. Bread and games. <clears throat> we can make the cripples fight, maybe. Is that is that a thing? Man. <clears throat> Uh oh, we are running out of coal. That is not optimal. One less. Okay, cool. Cool. Alright, well, we were running out of coal. We're getting resources now again. Uh, okay, the upgrade has been finished. Good. Means we can build a coal mine, or at least get the research going for a coal mine. What's this? Radical treatment. Sir, one of our people is facing death, but he's still refusing an amputation. He's determined, but gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours. Cut off his leg. <laughs> oh my god. The city must survive. <laughs> oh my lord. Quest complete. It's a miracle that we saved so many survivors from our expedition. Those who didn't make it, God rest their souls. But what about other cities? We have to find a sign of other places where people's uh, lives are worn by a generator. Though there are, were supposed to be many. We must find out where they are. Find out where the other cities are. Okay. Well, first we need to build a fighting pit. Because that's a thing. <laughs> Uh, it's it's so amazingly bleak. I love it. <laughs> uh. Okay, so you. Let's send you out towards the Lost Expedition. There we go. It's going to take you ten hours to get there. We're eight days out. We're building a fighting dome. It's going to need a boiler for sure. What do you want? Poor medical care. Few people are concerned about the number of the sick. The demands are their their demands are just. I'm not one for half measures. It's a quest. Well, their demands are just because people are important. We got 18 sick. Oh, we got 10 homeless people. Well, that's just that just won't do. Uh oh wow, we've got a lot more workers now. So we will just make them work in the various spots that require workers, I guess. 
Uh, we should probably build a road out here towards this coal pile. And then build a resource, a gathering post, I guess. So we can at least... Uh, oh, the fighting arena has been built! Hope grows and discontent fails. <laughs> Yay! The fighting arena... Oh, we can give people the... Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure of having... Okay, can I... Just, let's move one person off of the coal pile and he can fight in the fight pit. There we go. <laughs> uh, this is so silly, I love it. Uh, we are running out of coal. That's not good. Okay. Okay. The rest of our people made camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should have escor escorted escorted them to the city, and they were suffer losses. Yeah, we should escort them to the city, really, but. I'm really worried about resources running running low. Open a new place of treatment again. I've got I've, I've got so many of them already. Oh great, and the temperature falls and I don't have enough coal. <sighs> okay. Alright, um Let's just build a road up in here. There we go. So, people will get... Uh oh f Coal mine has been researched. Excellent. Let's, let us build a coal mine. Um, yeah. Roads. Good. And, and we need to use a steam core. So, we already have one of those. So, that's fine. <laughs> Scout has returned with cargo. There were people, damn it. Okay, broken tower. Let's go and check it out. And there's also a storm shelter. Uh, coal pile has been depleted. That is unfortunate. But we got a coal mine up and running right now. Poor food quality. Asking for decent food and served in the cookhouse. Eh, yeah, sure. I, I guess... Satisfy with decent food for 15 citizens. Alright. Right. Whoa, we got 34 workers. Well, let's get a boiler up and running then. Uh, you max that shit out. That's already being taken care of. Wood and iron are low. Could put pull those guys off the coal pile. Actually, maybe we don't need that as much anymore. But wood is definitely running low, so we should probably start researching a sawmill. So we can at least get these trees out of the way. Uh, is anybody fighting in the fighting pits? You fighting? In operation. That's glorious. <laughs> oh, this game is. Crazy. I like it. Right, some more bunk houses are required. Uh, which we sadly cannot do just yet because we don't have enough resources, specifically in the steel department. Oh, it's chilly in there, but it's still low risk of getting sick. In the meantime, our coal is running low. Let's get everybody to work. Food is low because we have so many people. And we're on the dawn of the last final day. Captain, a note was left for the, for the doctor who performed the amputation. It says, Sir, thank you. When you're in pain and blinded by fear, your choices can doom you. I may be crippled, but I'm alive. Yay, the amputee saw the light. Okay, cool. So... Let's build another bunkhouse. Uh, it's a road. Let's just do it like this. Like, we're wasting wood here, I know, but... 
Oh, the steel wreckage has been depleted. Do we have any other steel wreckage anywhere else? This radio tower must have been built to communicate with England. Its top is broken off and smashed into the radio shack, destroying the machinery. Uh, 100 wood and 50 steel. Excellent. Um, let's just take you to the city. Because we're going to need that steel. Because we need to build a steel mill sooner or later. Mildly frostbitten. Gravely injured. Well, that's just unfortunate. At least our coal mine is is up and running. It's got a ton of coal. Definitely not going to last us forever, but... Okay. What other options do we have right now? A workshop. Uh, there's five engineers working here. There's the sawmill. Which we can build. So let's get that up and running. Get a little bit of reach on that. There it is. Excellent. So, the sawmill will come online. We'll start building things there. Because the city must survive. There it is. And there you go. That's the end of the demo. A very cool game so far. I'm actually really enjoying this demo. And I'm starting to get better and better at it, and it's fairly straightforward. But ten days have passed, and you're still unsure of the fate of the other cities. Along the way, you tried to make it easy on your people. Even faced with the end of the world, there were lines. You, you chose not to cross. Sacrifices you were unwilling to make thus far. The waning of hope is, uh, of, is looming at large. What will you sacrifice for the city to survive? You've reached the end of the demo. Thank you for playing. Well... Thank you, uh, guys over at uh, 11 Bit Studios. It's uh, really fun. I'm really looking forward to the final release of Frostpunk. Uh, its theming is really good. It's visually really good. I'm just hoping that it's not too linear. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to go and wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take good care of yourselves. And as always, each other.